It's crazy to think that in just three days, Tesla's robo-taxi service is already showing flaws that are putting people in danger. Honestly, this might be the move that finally bankrupts Elon Musk. It's been less than a week since Tesla's driverless cars hit the streets of Austin, Texas, but already, the cracks are showing. From phantom braking to dropping passengers off in the middle of busy intersections, the issues are real and they're serious. In this video, I'll break down exactly what's going wrong and why it's happening. Because with Tesla's massive online fanbase, a lot of these problems get buried. So, if you care about safety, tech, or the truth, like the video, subscribe, and help it reach more people. Welcome to another episode of Great BTC. I travel the world, cover the future of tech and finance, and today I'm showing you what the mainstream isn't telling you about Tesla's robo taxis. What went wrong so fast? Just to be clear, I'm not a Tesla hater. I actually admire what they've built, but what I don't admire are the bold promises Elon Musk keeps making. On track for being able to go um, cross country from LA to New York by the end of the year, fully autonomous. This video isn't meant to spread hate. It's meant to deliver things as they are, facts, not fanboy hype. And yeah, if it ever gets too technical, maybe I should throw in a clip of a pretty girl or two to keep things light. Relax, I'm joking, kind of. But seriously, what went wrong so fast? To understand that, we first need to look at how Tesla's driverless system actually works. Unlike its biggest competitor, Waymo, which uses a mix of radar, lidar, and high resolution mapping, Tesla relies only on cameras, no sensors, no radar, just cameras and AI software trained to interpret the environment. In theory, it sounds efficient and cost-saving, but in practice, it means the system struggles when the lighting is bad, road markings are faded, or the unexpected happens. And as you'll soon see, these limitations are already starting to show in the worst possible ways. Footage doesn't lie. Now not to waste your time, let's get straight to the real world issues Tesla's robo taxi is facing. The first and most alarming, phantom braking. One of the first people to test it out was none other than Kim Java, a popular Tesla influencer. And even she wasn't spared. During her ride, the car randomly slammed the brakes so hard that her stuff went flying and she almost broke her nose. Yeah, seriously, the footage is wild. Of course, some Tesla fanboys online tried to deflect, saying, well, she wasn't wearing a seatbelt. Fair point, but it doesn't change the fact that phantom braking is a real, dangerous problem that's been showing up again and again. What's crazy is that Kim, despite being one of the few people lucky enough to even test this thing, ended up brushing it off herself, saying maybe the sun glare confused the system. But wait, doesn't Tesla use cameras as their main navigation tool? Aren't cameras supposed to work better in the light? So how is sunlight now the villain? I'm not trying to jump to conclusions here, but let's be honest. If this is what's happening on day one, with hand-picked testers and all the PR in the world, what happens when it rolls out to the public? Another day, another fail. Now the next issue is one that genuinely blew my mind. Tesla's robo-taxis have been randomly dropping passengers right in the middle of the road. No warning, no safe zone, just you've arrived and boom, you're sitting in traffic. Imagine that. You press a button, the car pulls over, and instead of a sidewalk or drop-off point, you're stepping out into chaos. And no, I'm not exaggerating. The footage shows it all. Cars just stop in dead and busy intersections, forcing passengers to figure it out themselves. This isn't just awkward, it's dangerous. It's life-threatening. And while the media stays mostly quiet, probably to protect Tesla's image and keep the stock price flying, this is something people need to see, because one day, it could be you in that car. And by then, it might be too late. Personally, I've never seen anything like this happen with Waymo. Their tech feels solid, polished, and safer. But Tesla, despite all the hype about their advanced AI, is still struggling with some of the basics. And if they don't fix this soon, I don't care how big the name Elon Musk is, Tesla could start bleeding serious money. In a world where other companies are already doing this better, safer, and smarter, it's kind of embarrassing. Driving in the wrong lane. One of the scariest things I've seen so far is Tesla's robo-taxi driving straight into the wrong lane. I'm talking full on, against the flow, as if the car completely forgot what traffic rules are. And look, when you're inside a car, especially a self-driving one, you expect at least the basics to be right. Like staying in the correct lane. But here we are. The footage is there. It's not edited or taken out of context. It's real. If Tesla doesn't fix this immediately, they're not just risking bad PR, they're risking lives. People trust Tesla. Parents, tourists, the everyday commuter. And when that trust is broken, there's no coming back. 
Bonus point, during a light storm in the same city, Tesla's robo-taxis didn't even show up. But guess who did? Waymo. Rain or shine, Waymo pulled through. So, if you're thinking about which car to trust during real-world, real-weather situations, well, I'll let that speak for itself. Final thoughts. If these Tesla issues keep piling up, it won't be much of a surprise if Elon Musk ends up going bankrupt. Tesla showed up late to the self-driving race, and even now, they're trailing behind much stronger players like BYD and Waymo. Sure, Tesla might be offering rides for just around $4, but even a low price won't save them from the disaster waiting to happen if they keep ignoring these serious flaws. Phantom braking, dropping passengers in intersections, wrong lane driving, this isn't just buggy tech, it's dangerous. You've been watching Grey BTC. Let me know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps way more than you think. You might also want to check out this video, How Tesla Lost $150 Billion in a Day.